so in today's video I'm going to be talking about the iPhone 10 and how it's holding up six months later from its release. So this is the iPhone 10 in silver, the 256GB version, so there's a lot of storage and right now on the iStore for South Africa, the iPhone 10 is for sale for 60,999 Rand, so its price has dropped tremendously, which is amazing. So if that's something you really wanted to buy for yourself, the price has dropped a lot, so I really recommend checking this phone out now. Now, we have not had this phone for six months, but I've used it a lot and the reason why I haven't had it for six months is first because here in South Africa the phone does get like released and sold here later, like about a month later. And also we bought this phone second hand so we got it a little later than it was initially for sale so that's why we've not had this phone for six months but it's been released for about six months where we're just going to be talking about how this phone has held up over those few months. As for hardware, I think this iPhone is the best looking iPhone available in the market now, especially now in 2018. A lot of people complain about the camera bump on the iPhone 10, but it's really not going to be such a big deal because a lot of people are going to have covers on their phone Seeing as though this phone has a glass back which makes it easy to break if it falls and also it's an expensive phone so they're not going to want to risk this phone getting broken or anything. So yeah, most people will have a cover on their phone which is just going to make it lie flat. As for the camera, it's still taking amazing photos. Really this camera is amazing and the video quality that you get from the camera with the 4K 60 frames per second it's amazing. One time my dad took a video on the iPhone 10, and I was editing a video where in that clip was and I, I thought it was taken with like a DSLR camera until I learned it was taken with the iPhone 10 in 16, 4K 60 frames per second. So this video quality on this phone is amazing and the photos, you can take some really really good looking photos on this phone. As for Face ID, it has really improved over the course of using this phone. It's just like software, so it's learning and adapting, obviously. So yeah, Face ID has really, really improved, and people who have just used the phone for one day will also say this. Another thing that I thought was going to be weird and was kind of kind of be a kind of a learning curve is all the gestures that this phone has, because with iPhones we're so used to having the physical home button that this is a whole new learning experience, especially for people who have been on iPhones their whole entire lives. It can be really weird, but I can now say from experience, it's really one of its best features. It works really great and smooth, it just works, and I can see how this is much better and you don't really miss the physical home button at all. If I work on my iPhone 8 Plus, which I have that, this is my dad's phone, but I've used this a lot so I can talk from experience about how it works. But when I work on my iPhone 8 sometimes, um, I really forget that um, I have a home button and sometimes I accidentally swipe up. So yeah, I hope Apple really like improves and does better with the gestures. It's already amazing, but there's always things you can do better. So maybe like change the way you access the control center, things like that. So. I'm really excited to see how Apple will improve their software and just make the usability so much better. Then for the good old notch. So the notch, it will either bother you or it won't bother you at all. It's been kind of a trend to dislike or hate the notch on the iPhone, even though all companies nowadays are going to be integrating a notch onto their phones because it's the best technology available at the moment for big screens in a small aspect ratio. And I think the reason that it's become such a trend on YouTube to dislike the notch is because it brings in views and subscribers. Because just like hating on Apple and things like that brings in views because people like to see the negative comments. Even though those people actually use iPhones every day of their life, they will still hate on the product, such as how they hit it on the removal of the headphone jack, but now almost everyone is doing it. As for me, the notch has really never bothered me at all. Plus, all the content you 
watch on your screen is actually like in the middle so like there's not really going to be important stuff at the sides that you're going to want to see but yeah i just think that stop listening to the people on youtube saying what they think about the notch and try it for yourself because that's the only reason you're ever going to know if it's really such a big deal or not Something I know that a lot of people may be bothered about is the size of the iPhone 10. It's amazing that they have this big screen on this small aspect ratio, but it would still be amazing to see a bigger iPhone 10. Um, I just think like with people who have bigger hands and have trouble using this, they would really appreciate a bigger phone. So I'm really excited to see what the iPhone 10 Plus will look like. So yeah, that is my video on the iPhone 10. Six months later, a kind of review, just telling you guys what the user experience has been and what my thoughts are on this phone, which is still, this phone is amazing. And I think it, would it will continue to be one of the best phones even next year when the new iPhones came, come out because it's still very fast, great quality and it's just a really amazing phone. So let me know in the comments down below what your guys' thoughts are and definitely subscribe by clicking on the icon down here. Click up here to see a playlist of all of my other tech videos and click down here to see my previously uploaded video. Love you guys so much, be weird and be proud of it. Bye!